<laughs> Yo, what's up? <laughs> Back for another video here. I just looked on my YouTube like analyst analytic statistics and uh, recently my most viewed video is the one on self-transforming machine elves about like psychedelics and alternate dimensions and that type of thing um, which is cool which is cool I mentioned in that video that it's not really a topic that I'm, I'm particularly um, focusing on really right now like in my in my everyday life and whatnot but hey you know what it got some views and who am I to deny the public what they want um, so I am trying anyway in general to receive feedback <laughs> from the market in in all aspects so I am willing to compromise on things so as a compromise in my life <laughs> I could talk some more about that I don't give a shit it's uh, I still love it it's still hilarious it's still cool and um, hey maybe my point of view is interesting to people and uh, possibly that can lead you toward other other sources that are more involved deeply in this now and maybe have more of a uh, like a deeper nuanced understanding of it but hey I can still give my point of view all right so um yeah let's get into the general direction of that type of shit self-transforming machine elves what the fuck as i talked about last time um that is the kind of like language the kind of mechanism which uh you know it was coined by terence mckenna who if you haven't already looked at his stuff there's just type in terence mckenna with music on YouTube and there's playlists of like 50 videos someone produced with like incredible production values really and uh, his knowledge is distilled into very easily digestible like 10 minute clips it's incredible so check that out but uh, that, that was the term that he used to describe I suppose the as I said language of uh, of the gods I suppose or like of those realms of the other realms and that was his kind of like interpretation of, of these beings almost that you that you encounter during like it, particularly during like psychedelic uh, endeavors I suppose it is like a, a specific thing to that medium of, of knowledge you know it's like I don't think you're really coming across these creatures if you're just like in deep meditation like I, I don't get that feeling now like that because I, I do like as I talked about in, in another video I do an hour of meditation a day like hardcore plus just my my existing moment to moment with breathing and trying to be reflective and, and I'm not getting that feeling like I'm not getting the vibe of like yo self transforming machine elves are like in your face like I'm not I'm not experiencing that and that's why I'm not really trying to like hammer home on these ideas like at least I wasn't anyway in these videos but um but so it is I think like a or a reflection of the the psychedelic realm in particular in particular I think the mushrooms I think particularly the self-transforming machine elves in particularly the elves elves are some type of symbiotic species of thought of fucking existence of life that seems to symbiotically um, exist with the mushroom right and sort of manifest itself to the human I suppose when you're engaged with this stuff um <laughs> If you're not, if your mind's not already fucking just blown open, you know, that's cool. That's good. That means you're on the right track. So keep going. Let's keep going. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, it's, uh, it, it's a, it's a language of, 
of the of love of of expansion but it does seem to have a hint of dare i say trickster mm -hmm. of sort of laughable i guess but in a in a kind of in a knowledgeable A profound way but with a hint of like yo like it's all it's hilarious we're fucking elves like these are these are creatures that are somehow after you like consume these mushrooms which of course it's much more than that but but anyway during this experience you're you're sort of engaging with these creatures that are somehow related to elves not in like a straight like visual way right not in like oh that's an elf Oh, funny! I'm watching a cartoon. It's not really like that. It's, it, but it is like a hint. It is like a perception of like, oh, elves, yeah, self-transforming, even machines. Oh, okay, and you get it, and that's why that's why like the work of Terence McKinnon is so great because he put he put some English words to this stuff. Like, how were you gonna know? He he did that for you. So it's like, cool. Maybe I can try a little bit to make that just a just a, a shade more accessible for the average person. These fucking crazy ideas, right? But it's so absurd, right? It's absurd. And I'll, I'll transition this a little bit more into maybe some of the things I'm interested in now. Like, the way that our current mainstream society uh, narrates your life and creates the existence that you're going to play a part in. It's important to recognize some of these fucking fringe ideas, like machine elves, but understand that they aren't fringe. Right? They're not. That's what's so messed up about it all. They're not even fringe, man. It's like you working at the bank... Purchasing a car you can't afford, being in a relationship with someone you don't really like, and going to a fucking hockey game of a team that you don't really give a shit about, and drinking fucking beer and watching like, like, um, corporate news. That's what our society deems acceptable for you. That's not fringe in our society. But what I'm talking about with as Terence McKenna has this idea of the machine elves and mushrooms and stuff and other languages and fucking creatures and dimensions, our society says that is French. Okay? And what's terrifying and what is the, like, brutal truth of, I think, existence here and now for each person, if you're tuned into this, hopefully you can grasp this a bit or you're open to it, is that, it, truthfully, in my opinion, it's the opposite. Switch them up. You at some fucking corporate job that you, that is hurting you and eating like the average diet of like processed carbs and and uh, like enabling your fucking random friends or relatives who are like on pills or fucking drunk or hate themselves and you just putting up with that and enabling it and going along with it. To me, that's fringe. That's fucking bananas. That shit's crazy. That shit is fucking tapped. Like it's absolutely uncalled for but our society lets that happen like it's nothing it's cool go for it it's fine you get rewarded for that shit but what i'm talking about with these elves and shit is like the average amount of people that can grasp with that is so small apparently due to my video a few <laughs> and that's why i talk about it more good because those are the people i want to talk to those those small group of people who are like dude there's something there and it's cool. And this weirdo shit that they got me doing, dressing in a fucking stupid pair of shoes and doping around with idiots who can't do 10 push-ups, but yet they want to tell me what I should think and fucking shame me for how I believe. Fuck that. Fuck that shit. That ain't me. I don't, I don't need that. Let's talk about real shit. And turns out, as crazy as our world is, as crazy as it all is, stuff like machine elves gets a lot of views. 
Because people are starving for that, man. They're starving to break free of the nonsense. Be like, dude, what? Like, what the shit? Fucking elves? Machine elves? Self-transforming? In some other kind of language? In some other kind of fucking dimensions? That, like, come, as I talked about before, I think, I hope I said, chopping through as they self-transform, chop through into your reality from somewhere else and everything is affecting everything and they've already in some way happened before they happened, which is fucking bananas. And things are not as they seem. And, and I love it. Like, I love that people want to, are, are excited by that. Or, or I love if someone hears that and is like, dude, what? Like, like, what? Like, is that something? Is there something to that? I love that. Like, a person who hears that and is like, that's stupid, man, fuck you, that's weird, you're weird. I don't, like, I'm not a part of that. Like, I don't need you. I don't, you, what you're saying doesn't influence me. Right, like I'm not, like I'm not going to be swayed by that because it's not important. You're, you've been trapped, you've been, you've been coerced, you've been brainwashed really into, into such a narrow, narrow view of life. And of reality and of what you think is so is acceptable for you to speak about that you're on you're you're drugged you're you're drunk you're 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 living in a in an existence which doesn't serve me i doubt that it serves you it, it serves some aspect of, of our current society to carry on the status quo, which, I mean, not to get into it too much, but it's, it's just like chopping up the earth and like extracting minerals and building fucking tanks and stuff. And in general, like it's still nice, like that we have electricity and, and like you are somewhat free depending on where you live to like walk down the street. Like that's awesome. I love that. But that's the freedom to be like, okay, cool. We have that. What else? Like, what is really going on? Like, what is this with, with like, ability to take plant medicine and engage with other realms? Like, what in the fuck? And understand myself better, because that's really what it's about. And you know what? It's like, cool, man. If, if the kind of, like, hype of a word, like, the word, like, ayahuasca is kind of in the, the social consciousness a little bit now. People like that. Kind of like meditation is in the, the consciousness or yoga. Even though the mainstream always corrupts and warps and perverts everything and they dilute it to such a point that it's fucking stupid. Like, do, do, download the meditation app. <laughs> and then you don't even really do it. I talked about that before. But, um, it, but, if, but you know what? Hey, I'm willing to play that game. Like, I'm, I'm willing to, like... It's like, hey, use a buzzword. You know what I mean? Like, like use, like... Um, Use like, use like YouTube algorithms to put in the right word in your title and attract more attention. You know what? Whatever, man. Because maybe that's what it takes right now. So if a word like self-transforming machine elves, if I can some way bring that into the, to the forefront as like, no, 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 no. This is, a, this is a phrase. This is a phrase that exists. It's a series of words that's been put together. You're allowed to say it. You're allowed to talk about it. There's nothing wrong with that. I encourage it. You're encouraged to do it. It's healthy. There's nothing wrong with that. It's like the old saying, like, don't do the man's work for him. Right? Don't hide your stash. I don't personally use uh, really plant medicine right now in my life like even marijuana like but i understand that you denying yourself you hiding that aspect is your of yourself you're chaining yourself you're imprisoning yourself don't do the man's work for him why are you doing that if that's who you are you own it yo if you want to smoke marijuana if you want to use psychedelics 
That's your absolute inherent right. That is your right. You can be white. You can be black. You can be straight. You can be gay. You have, there is nothing wrong with one over the other. It's all perfectly acceptable. It's the same with the psychedelics. Anyone who tries to infringe upon that, they're messed up. Even if it's all of society, right? Even if it's your parents and the government and the police and everybody, they're wrong. They're perverted. Something's damaged within them. It's inappropriate what they're doing. But the fucking whole Third Reich said exterminate fucking all the Jews and do that. Right? But that whole system was broken. The whole thing. They were lying. They were misunderstanding themselves. It's the same with the, with the drugs. It's the same with the psychedelics. So it's the same with self-transforming machine elves. Right? Think about it. Let it in your mind. Why not? Who, right? Why not? You don't like. You don't have to. You don't have to. Like you can turn to a different video. You can turn to like, um, you can turn to like, learning how to do tons of deadlifts and squats, and and maybe that's what you like. Go do that too. I don't give a shit. Do it. It's fucking sweet. You should be doing it. But you sh you. It's not appropriate if you feel drawn to this topic. As like I came back for this video to talk about it again because I don't give a fucking shit. I'll talk about it. Like it doesn't bother me. I'm not afraid of it. And and again, I'm I'm not even really necessarily all that really drawn to it at the moment anyway. But I'm just trying to show that if you are, there's nothing wrong with you talking about it. Nothing wrong with it. Go ahead. See what's in there for you. Hmm. It's fun. It's fun to to undermine the kind of status quo which is is kind of oppressing you in such a way that sometimes isn't obvious but that can be what makes it more insidious is the fact that it is kind of just it's just kind of these blinders are like no that's bad that's bad only this and i'm like i don't believe that i'm, I'm not i didn't say that if you want to live like that you can but I'm not going to do that. Are you going to try to make me? Like, okay, let's, let's do that. Like, how long can you keep that up for? Like, how, in what way can you do that? And what you'll find, I think, is that our society is vapid. It is, it is frantic. It is polluted but it isn't really all that like disciplined it isn't really all that diligent it isn't really very thorough like it'll vaguely tell you like oh fuck you don't talk about that you're bad shut up and go work at the fucking bank idiot fucking shut up and eat a pill it'll tell you that but if you can just maintain within yourself like nah no, I don't. I don't really believe that. I don't think you really have. I don't think you really have the stamina to keep that up. I think I'm right. Society will just kind of like it'll. It won't like really accept you. It'll still try to like shame you. Like nah, nah, nah. You have to get married to that girl you don't really like. Nah, nah, nah. It'll still do that, but you you'll just be able to see like, oh, you don't have anything. Like, you don't have anything I want. And it's like, the person telling you that is some fucking dopey loser. Dopey. Pathetic. Scrawny. Can't do 10 push-ups. Fucking friends are losers. Watches mainstream television. Pathetic. Can't even, can't even watch this video without having a fucking mental breakdown. It's like, yeah, well, that's what you get. Like, I'm not, I'm not in the business of of like accommodating your like narrow little beliefs it's not up to me you sustain them if that's what you want but i'm not going to let you influence what i think anymore and i'm just going to i'm just going to maintain this type of belief system it's like cool man you like do it up
it's like, again, talk about Terrence McKinnon and, and this stuff, because I, I love the fact that it's popular. I love the fact that that was my most viewed videos <laughs> lately. Like, that's awesome. Cool, man. And, um, yeah, it's like he talked about where it's, it's empowering to stand up and, like, call bullshit on things. Like, it's a laugh. It's like, it's like exciting to be alive in that process and and like maybe that's why you exist even now it's like for the sole purpose that life wanted to experience itself of calling bullshit on something that was stupid it's like you standing up and hopefully in the right circumstances not like in the middle of like a some fucking business meeting and you just stand up you're like oh fuck this whole business this is stupid Hey, that might be cool, actually. I don't know. But uh, but I'm not going to personally recommend you do that because I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to be responsible for you getting fired and, like, you lose your fucking, <laughs> you lose your apartment or something. Take it in step by step, you know, within reason. But, you know, uh, it, there is a point sometimes when you, when you have to stand up and be like, you know what? No. Like, fuck this. Like, I'm not spending time with someone who treats me like that. Like you got someone like a neighbor or, or a family member or someone who every time you see them, like they passive aggressive towards you and they say shit. It's like, mm, 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 mm. yeah, mm. like, yep. still like for me, like, although I don't actually really get this that much, but who knows? Maybe in the past, maybe I did. Someone could say like, nope, still got long hair. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, what are you, a hippie? Yum, yum, yum. And it's like at some point, you can say like, eh, that's fucking bullshit. I'm not going to listen to you anymore. Fuck off. It's like, cool. Like, that's for the best. Like, and, it and that person probably won't be able to take it. Like, oh, you can't say that to me. It's like, yeah, I can. It's fucking bullshit what you're saying. I don't I'm gonna fucking grow my hair however I like. You, it's not important to me what you think. It doesn't affect me. Like I'm okay. You're free to say that. You're free to to not like it. But I'm free to call bullshit on you. Bye. Cool. Like it's why not, man? Why not? Why, why, why not? Like what the fuck? Like like. What are we keeping alive in a lot of ways? Like, so so what? So that we can have American Idol on TV for two hours at night? So that you can go to the fucking gas station and buy a Pepsi for a dollar? So that you can have fucking junk uh, flyers and mail delivered to your house of, like, bullshit products you don't want? I'm not keeping that alive. I'm not going to encourage that. Oh, who cares? What else is there? Maybe there's another way. I'm not saying, I'm not saying like we should have anarchy or something. Like I'm happy that we have a society that functions and like the, when I drive down the road, like people obey the speed limits. Like I'm happy about that, but okay, cool. We have that. Well, what else can we like? What if that, that's cool. But is everything cool? Like the drug war, like if you want to get, just talk again about the like psychedelic and everything, it's like we let that happen. And not to get too much onto a side topic about that, but it's like even now they're kind of like letting it kind of like, they're like, well, now you can smoke one joint if you get a license and if you go to the certain special store to buy two grams only. And it's always, from my point of view, of like, well, I don't really want to enable that too much. I don't want to, like, give them too much attention because it's kind of like, you know, look, man, you guys are lucky, like, this is to like the politician or like the legal system and all that. It's like you guys abused and exploited and destroyed the lives of millions and millions of people for decades with some fucked up, ridiculous war on drugs, which never was going to help anybody. And you 
a lot of you idiots already knew it. And now after all that, you want to turn around and be like, you're lucky you can smoke two joints. It's like, dude, you idiots, you fucking dummies, you, you should take the drugs. That's really what we should be doing. We should round them all up, round up all those fucking morons who perpetrated the drug war, drag them out of their fucking retirement homes. Say, okay, it's, it, now, it's the, now it's the fucking judgment day. Line them all up. <laughs> no, no, but get them in the right set and setting, right? And be like, no, you guys are, it's actually, I think, necessary that you guys all take mushrooms now. And you all take weed. You, like, you smoke weed, you take edibles in the woods, and you really face what you did. Like, you really own it. I'm sorry if you're 75 years old. But this is how it goes. This is for the best. And it's like, you could hear that. Like, any of these, like, any, like, mainstream person would hear what I'm saying and be like, they wouldn't even hear it. They wouldn't even give it a moment. They'd be like, oh, he's an idiot. That's so stupid. He's dumb. Get a fucking haircut. Get more than fucking 50 views on a video. <laughs> But truthfully, honestly, I think really, if you took the time to process through it and think about it, maybe it's not the best, maybe it's not the best idea, maybe it's not practical, but I would say, if you really took some time to think about it, you would hold it as a pretty, like, you'd be like, yeah, that's, that's somewhat reasonable. Like, that's somewhat reasonable. You fucking idiots ruined the lives of millions and millions and millions of people and caused chaos throughout the whole Western world with this crazy fucked up drug war. I don't think it's really appropriate for them to just completely get away with it. Like, without at least facing some type of like, no, you idiots did something stupid. It's like, <laughs> someone will be offended by this, but hey, it's all part of the game. It's like, when at some uh, concentration camp, I think it was in Germany, actually, or maybe Austria, but anyway, I think it was Germany, because it was in, like, the actual fatherland. When the Americans, an American division, like, uncovered a concentration camp, and the, like, general in charge of the division was, like, so fucking appalled by it. And it wasn't even that far from, like, a town. And he was like, there's... And when they went through the town, everybody was like, no, we didn't know, we didn't know, oh, we had no idea. And he was like, no, man, no. Fuck all that. There's no way that you had that you didn't know. So he's like, march these motherfuckers through and let them see what they done. Just let them... They have, it's in the interest of damn human spirit. You have to at least walk through and witness what took place here. Maybe you knew, maybe you didn't. But the moral thing is for you to at least be forced to witness what took place in your name. Look at it. And so, hey man, I'm not, I'm not saying we have to get like... And that was like, there were like old people there and like, and like all kind of stuff. And it's like, check out what was going on here. <sighs> and it's like, I've heard actually the, there was a documentary I watched once on the prison industry and it was particularly focused on the drug warp. And it was called like, um, the Holocaust in slow motion because it was not, it's not the same and fuck for the idiots out there. This is not by any ways like trying to compare the fucking what took place in Europe and Eastern Europe during the Second World War with the Third Reich and all that. Okay, that's a completely separate thing. That was its own horrible thing on its own. This is something completely different. This is the drug war. But the way that it was done, the way that it just systematically chewed people up, tore them away from their families and ruined them and wrecked them and got them trapped in the legal system, it's very real. Go talk to somebody. Go talk to somebody who got dragged away from their family for, like, for nothing. 
for like someone was smoking a joint in behind a store and they just happened to be there and got sent to fucking prison for decades. Find out how they feel about it. I bet you it was, you can't even put words to it. So I don't think it's really too much to ask to be like, hey, let's, let's, let's hold some people responsible. Let, let's get them up in front of something. Be like, what, what the fuck did you idiots do? Hey, something to think about. <laughs> anyway, that's pretty much where I was going with it all. Somehow I got from self-transforming machine elves all the way to like um, the drug war and stuff. I guess, you know what? Hey, maybe they're related. I think they are. I think those topics are related. Because the whole thing is like, you got this drug war. You got it, that happened. And it suppressed something. This idea like self-transforming machine elves. Other realms. And that's why nobody really, it's hard for people to understand it. I'm about like, no. No, you can talk about it. Go ahead. I hope this video gets fucking more. I hope it gets twice as much. Good. I don't give a shit. I'll talk about it again. I'll talk about it again until I don't really need to. Until maybe some of my other videos get more. And I'll switch it up. Alright, everybody. Like, subscribe, hit up with a comment. Cool. Everybody have a good one. Peace out.